Hey, what's up everyone? Hope you're all having a wonderful time. So today we're going to take a look on how to get yourself the portal within Soul Mask. And there's uh, three different parts to make it and uh, you can find it in any of the dungeons across the world here. Uh, we're going to go over the first one as the NPCs here are going to be the lowest level. And that's going to be uh, the ones that's across the river just west of the rainforest area. And once you get here you want to hug the wall to the right all the way down until you get to this open area with the elite in the middle. And here you want to run past them uh, to get into the dungeon. And uh, from here you will find some mechs that you might want to fight off. And once you get inside the dungeon you want to start by going to your right here just around the corner and uh, follow this corridor and there will be some mechs around here but uh, for the purpose of the video I have cleared out uh, some of them uh, here before. Go all the way until you get to the room with three doors on it and there's usually a mech standing in the middle here. As well, but uh, here you want to take the right door and uh, beware of the traps here. You have to jump over them to avoid them. And once inside you will find yourself the first piece of the portal and also some extra chests with some loot in it. And now you want to go all the way back the same way that you came from. And we can start to go to the next piece of the portal. You then want to take the left door here instead and you want to find a mechanism here that you will have to activate and this will make it so the door across the room here will open. Follow the path here and here you will find the next piece for the portal. You've got some mechs here as well and same as before some loot chests. One thing to note here is that you will need a hammer or gauntlet to be able to damage the mechs. To be able to obtain all three pieces you will have to defeat one mech so you can't just skip everything. But the first two uh, pieces that I've shown you here, uh, these you could actually skip if you like to. Head back to the entrance once again and then want to take the right door this time and here you need to kill this mech to be able to open the last door for the last piece of the portal. Just watch out for his uh, spin attack and you should also throw a creation tank on him uh, to make him take more damage. And these can be found all around the chest within the dungeon so you should uh, be able to pick up uh, a couple one at this point if you looted the chest. Once it's defeated you can open the big door to the left here and you will have to shoot or throw anything on the marking that's going to be above the small door here to make it open. And in this room you will then find the last piece of the portal and also some extra chests with some loot in them. I'll speed through the rest of the dungeon here as I've already covered it in another video. If you continue here and then just take a left you will find the room with a mysterious stone table which you also will need to have to craft the portal but you will also be able to save some of your tribesmen if you have this from dying. And then you want to take left here again and this will take you to the boss of this dungeon, Slayer X. I put a link in the description to the video where I go over the tactics for this boss if you like to check it out. And once you get home you can start to craft the portal and you can do it in the mysterious stone table as mentioned earlier. You will need to have some stone bricks, all of the parts of the portal, you need some green and also blue crystals to make this. Also the table itself needs some fuel which is going to be some sunstones. And they do take quite a bit of time to make so you can see here, so keep that in mind as well. Once they're done you can then put them down anywhere you like but uh, before you can use the portals uh, as of now you will have to have defeated the ape boss before you can use the portal and that's for the data update 3 that you will have to unlock in the mask node. There are some other restrictions as well when using the portal. First of all it will uh, consume 100 mask energy from you. And you can only teleport to another player place portal, not the existing world portals around the world. And there's also max limits to how many portal one tribe can have. 
And you can only teleport with uh, current worn armor and uh, the items on your hotbar. And then you can't use the portal with a mount. However, tribesmen do work. If you're on a dedicated server, you can change this uh, if I'm not mistaken. To be able to move through with items, mounts and even removing the requirement to have uh, the data 3 unlocked. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. If you got any other questions, feel free to drop a comment and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. And with that said, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!